everyone, it's your girl Tara Michelle. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel, Opinionated Scents, our safe space to discuss all things fragrance, whether we like them or not. So in today's video, I am going to be doing my follow-up on K.I.L.E.'s newest release, which is Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper 25. Okay, so you all have seen the first review, my first impressions. You all know how I feel about first impressions. Your first impression is not always your lasting impression. So let's go over the notes. In the top, we have pink pepper, saffron, bergamot, and royal lily. I don't think I've ever seen royal lily as a note before. Then in the mid, we have Bulgarian rose, may rose, vanilla orchid, and magnolia. And then in the base, we have sandalwood, patchouli, amber, and musk. So, beautiful notes. I don't have a problem with any of these notes. Other than um, it being called a royal lily, which I can't say I've ever seen before, I definitely know how lilies smell. So, none of these notes are off-putting to me. We all saw my first impressions video. It was not my vibe the first time I smelled it. The pepper was overwhelming. And there was a plastic-like smell that I just couldn't push past. Well, after... Looking into the notes, I had discovered that when you dry down saffron, it can pull like leather or rubber. And I do believe that that is what I was picking up the first couple of times that I wore this perfume. So my first impression was not the best. However, in that same video, you saw me say, you heard me say, there's something in this that I like, but there is something in this that I like. I got to play with this. I got to put it on my skin. Um, and I'm glad that I did because while it's still not a love for me yet, every single time I wear it, I like it more. And, you know, isn't that what we're here for on this perfume journey? Look at all the perfumes I have behind me. I am starting to get bored with these new releases. Nothing's different. They're all the same. It's like, no, it's not fun anymore. Well, this one has actually been fun. Now, um, I no longer get the plastic smell. So I kind of sort of have to eat my words on that, but not really because it was there at first. Now, there's a lot of techniques you learn when you go to therapy um, or if you're in training for like, you know, the military where people will tell you sometimes you have to condition yourself. You have to, what are these airplanes, I swear, but you have to sometimes push through something, push past something. And so once I looked that up about saffron, once I realized that saffron when dried, not if you're around the plant or the flower itself, it doesn't smell like that, you know, and neither does saffron oil for that matter. However, if you dry it, apparently it can pick up a leather or a um, rubber smell and burning rubber, melted plastic, all the same thing. That was what I was getting the most of the pepper choking me and then the plastic just you know it just it wasn't for me i'm also a girl who grew up in st louis missouri i'm a midwest girl we, i didn't grow up with a bunch of spices and perfume everything was celebrity and sweet and dainty and delicate so my newest introduction into you know my new likes my palette opening up are just now spices so i'm not a spice loving girl i'm not from somewhere where I grew up on these things. So it's going to be different for me. And I know a lot of people in the comments and other videos I've seen who are picking up on it being too spicy, probably grew up somewhere in the United, the United States like me where spices aren't our thing. I don't mean, or I don't think that that needs to mean that they can't be our thing. So in playing around with this, I'll tell you what I noticed. The first two times that I wore it on skin beyond the, the test, each time the plastic lightened up. By the third time, I got a hint of it for about three seconds and then it was gone. Fourth time, fifth time, I don't smell it anymore. The rose use in here is just, all of the florals in here are amazing. And I'm an extreme lover of sandalwood, amber, and musk. The way they do musk, musk is my favorite one from the Kaali line. Even though it's very light and gentle, it is one of the most beautiful fragrances I've ever smelled. So while this isn't necessarily a love for me yet, what I can say is I like it more every single time I wear it. And for me, I'm just speaking for me, for someone who has been getting these new releases and they have been so underwhelming to the point to where I was just like, you know, I'm just going to focus on what I have. 
because I just can't keep doing the letdowns. Like people are just regurgitating what we've already seen from this house and that house. And everybody's trying to make a new Delena and a new MFK. And it's not working. What I can say is Mona gave me something that definitely isn't like any of the other KLEs that I've tried or that I've had. Um, the pepper is still too much for me. I feel like I need to spray this perfume outside. Like, to, And it's so small, I could just step outside on the porch, spray myself like I want to, walk to the car, get in the car, ride with the windows down for a little while. That's how choking the pepper is for me. But alas, you know your girl, right? I have a suggestion. Not that Mona's going to ever see this or give a damn about my suggestion, but I would love it if she had like a contest where she was like, enter this contest and you can win a day um, in my perfume making castle with me. You can just play around and make your own fragrance. I would literally want her and her team to give me all the ingredients. I mean, they don't have to show them to me because I'm sure we, they don't know. I don't need to know the secret formula. But I would basically want to try this with a couple changes, two versions, okay? So in my head, because I do love all the notes in here, I would say on the first version I would love to try would be Take the pink pepper out of the top and instead move it to the mid and take the magnolia out of the mid and move it to the top. So basically just switch those two. Switch up the pink pepper and the magnolia, okay? And then take the patchouli out of the base. See, here in the Midwest, this, is like a, this smells like it's for spring, summer to me with the use of the florals and that beautiful bergamot. But I don't need patchouli in the summertime. It gets hot, hot here. And again, this is coming from a girl who's not that into spices. I love patchouli, but not that into spices in the heat. So that rendition sounds to me like it would be amazing just to be able to see the difference. Take the pink pepper away from the bergamot a little bit, you know, because the bergamot is what's hyping it up. It is insane. So if you put it in the mid, move the magnolia up, boom, take the patchouli out. Mm, mm, I think that would be amazing. Or... How about this? Think a little brave because we get the same patchouli, sandalwood, musk, amber base all over the place. What if we switch out the patchouli if we really need to have spice and put in vetiver mm -hmm. and add some vanilla? Ooh. I would still always move the pink pepper to the mid and move the magnolia to the top. But if you added vetiver and vanilla to the base and took the patchouli out, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Amazing. I am not a perfumer, not at all. I am not putting any digs on her. Um, even with her heritage, I know she's a spicy girl. You know what I'm saying? It makes sense. I'm just a consumer who comes from a different world when it comes to what I'm used to and what I grew up on in terms of spices. So this is just my idea of, you know, what I think would make this easier for me to tolerate. However, however... I stuck strong, held fast, and I have to say I really do like this. Again, it's not a love for me yet, but I like it more every time I wear it. And guys, this girl's heart needed that, 100%. I'm tired. The new LaBelle, the new Olympic, the new Mon Guerlain, these things that I was waiting for for so long, it just turned out to be, like I said, regurgitated versions of something we've already had. Um, I needed this. I needed another challenge. I haven't really had one since Delina. Something to make me work for it. Yeah. Yeah. So I will give this my most um, exciting release um, in a while. I'm still getting to know it. Still trying to figure it out. The pepper. I just, <laughs> I'm telling you, man, it's the thing that just shies me away from, you know, even wanting to put it on. However, like I said, I stuck with it. And um, let me give you a little background about reactions though, okay? So I put this on, going to work, minding my business. My daughter comes out of her room, my 17 year old, you guys have seen her before. What are you wearing? I want it, where is it? All up in my stuff, wait a minute. No, I'm still testing it. I'm trying to figure out if I like it or not. It smells amazing, give it to me now. Then I went to work, two compliments. One of the students was like, you smell really good. And this was the first time I wore it. And I was just like, 
it's just like plastic to me. But I was like, thank you very much. You know, I'm going to take a compliment. I don't have to tell anybody else about my inner turmoil. And Bay loves it. He says it smells very sexy. So it is a huge compliment getter. And everyone around me who doesn't have this crazy bloodhound nose. And also too, also too, I can't eat spicy food. Maybe that has something to do with me just overall having this visceral reaction to um, spices. Um, and I shouldn't say visceral. It's, it's not, it's, I really shy back from it because I can't tolerate spices in any form, whether I'm smelling it or tasting it. But everybody around me in this house, this house loves spices. Love it. Everything is jalapeno this and blah, 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 and all the black pepper and, you know. So maybe that also is my hang up. But um, and I think I've been talking too long about this. It's a huge compliment getter. My bae thinks it's extremely sexy. I like it more and more every single time I wear it. So for me, um, I don't think it's a safe blind buy unless you know you love some very strong, zesty pepper. Um, but I would say get this one. I think $27, you know, for something that is guaranteed going to give you an experience. I, I, I can't deny that. This has been a roller coaster ride that I needed to, to ignite my passion back into this thing to give me hope that I will run into something that I like. So I'll continue to work with this. I'm sure this won't be the last time that you hear me talk about it. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll write Mon an email and just ask her to send me a batch of the two that I suggested for me to smell them. I pay for them. I didn't ask for no free ride, but I'm just curious. I'm curious if I could dial, the, not dial the pepper back because I actually love pink pepper, but if I could just remove it from the opening to give me a chance to get those florals and that zest and then get hit with it, I promise I think I'd love it that much more. Anyway, it's not a safe blind buy to me, but at $27, if you can afford it, I think it's worth trying it because I think if you don't love it at first sniff, you will eventually um, get used to it or it will eventually grow on you. Just my two cents. And for those people in my comments who agree with me and you return yours, I am not at all saying you have to go get it again. Please don't be mad at me because my mind changed. But as women, we reserve the right to change our mind. Also, too, a first impression is just that. No skin testing was done. No full wear was done. So I can't be held to a standard of having to maintain not liking it. So I don't know, guys. Anyway, thank you for sitting through this follow up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Please click the like button and select the notification bell so that you never miss any of my future uploads. As always, let's talk in the comments. Did any of you keep it and keep playing with it? Do you like it more now? Or was it just an absolute no for you? Either way, I want to hear about it. And until then...